AABIP Video Educational Series Rigid Bronchoscopy Airway Surveillance In this video, we will review the individual steps of performing airway surveillance with rigid bronchoscopy and highlight certain points of the procedure that may improve success. We will be using an Effler Dumont rigid bronchoscope for this educational video, but please note that the individual steps of airway surveillance with rigid bronchoscopy can be applied to other brands as well. To begin, the rigid bronchoscope is in the distal trachea with a bevel against the posterior tracheal wall. We enter the right main bronchus by side bending and rotating the patient's head towards the left and rotating the scope counterclockwise and gently lifting the right lateral bronchial wall with the bevel as the scope is advanced into the right main bronchus. The rigid bronchoscope is rotated clockwise until the bevel of the scope is against the posterior wall. Of note, the head must remain in a side bent rotate position while the scope is advanced or retracted from the main bronchus. Once the airway exam on the right side is complete, the rigid scope is rotated counterclockwise until the bevel is against the right lateral bronchial wall. The scope is then retracted back into the distal trachea and rotated clockwise until the bevel is against the posterior tracheal wall. The patient's head is then straightened. We enter the left main bronchus by side bending and rotating the patient's head towards the right and rotating the scope clockwise and gently lifting the left lateral bronchial wall with the bevel as the scope is advanced into the left main bronchus. The rigid bronchoscope is rotated clockwise until the bevel of the scope is against the posterior wall. Once the airway exam with the left side is complete, the rigid scope is rotated clockwise until the bevel is against the left lateral bronchial wall. The rigid scope is then retracted back into the distal trachea and rotate counterclockwise until the bevel is against the posterior tracheal wall. The patient's head is then straightened.